day to you. Welcome to Dr. Sam's Productive Creativity YouTube channel. This is a, a companion site to my podcast. So basically, this is what I actually show you. A uh, few things that uh, you cannot see in the podcast. And that's the purpose of having this uh, channel at all. So uh, we're going to start from uh, the beginning. So basically the website. Uh, many many will tell you oh you don't have to create a website it's no need uh, but uh, if you think about it a little bit it is a repository of all your data it is a repository of all your links it's basically the combination of all your work showing in one spot and in one platform it would make sense to anybody who who knows a little bit about product management that you have a one place where you have all your stuff of course you're going to say I have everything in my calendars or maybe I have everything organized in my folders and they are all my computers and stuff. But as you know, computers go bad. Computers crash. Uh, you may have it in uh, in the cloud. The cloud, sometimes it's unreliable. You may lose your passwords and you may lose access to that cloud. So there is so many bad things that can happen. In a way, it is great to have your data in several places first the website well first actually is your folders in your computer something that you have physically with you and then of course uh, you can always have the same stuff in your computer sync to the cloud there's a lot of services that you can use for that like uh, google sync uh, for mac users they have the same options and a lot of tools are out there you can look them up to sync whatever you have in your computer with your cloud meaning that if you open something on your computer that's being synced with the cloud if you change it it changes on the cloud as well for example i do write my stuff on uh, word documents that are saved on my computer but they are actually saved in a folder that is syncing automatically with my google drive that means that every time i open a word document for example and i work on it it automatically saves on my google drive so i can ov even open it on my cell phone uh, i can open it on another computer and i can keep working on it and it's saved and i'm not talking here about google docs this is actually a word document that is saved on a folder on your computer but it is synced automatically with your drive the same thing can happen if you're using scrivener for example i'm an avid user of scrivener so i save all my project because a scrivener is a project based uh, uh, software basically create a project and all those files they need to be saved in a folder somewhere i do the same thing so they are saved on my computer and they are automatically synced with my cloud so i can get to them from different computers uh, there is some tricks that you need to do to get to it from the cell phone but that's not the purpose of our discussion today now today the purpose is basically to start you out with uh, the uh, the look that uh, the end users will basically see because uh, everything you're doing is to get them to this point you want your readers to get to this point and uh, to create some kind of relationship with you because once you put your ads your books and your podcasts and all your work is out there once they they like you to a certain extent they want to know who you are and uh, the best thing is to have a place for them to go and see what you have for them. Uh, this website, I have the several websites, but this one, I just restarted working on it. So it does have uh, some material that's uh, ready for use. And as you see, I created it by simply uh, not using WordPress or any of that uh, stuff that uh, people need to be a little bit technical to get to uh, because you have to install like site programs and plugins and things like that for the moment this is simple here it is simply by getting a domain name because i got my domain name right here samborgi.com it's uh, directly from google domains it's not expensive it's like probably 14 dollars a year or so and they automatically give you the option to create sites and of course i created my site directly through them it's extremely simple and give you a little bit of a view this is the final product right here that you see and i'm gonna go through the links so this is books fiction books and you can create an ad and there's still 
different things that I need to do in the bottom here in the footer, like uh, put my Facebook and Instagram and all that with Twitter stuff. Uh, is, uh, you can create different links. You can add pictures. You can add books. These are books I have. And the podcast, you can have something that takes them directly to the podcast. The good thing I have here is the, the crafts and f platforms. So directly from my website, you can actually get from here to my two podcasts that I have. One is about uh, intellectual property and create uh, creatives for creatives and podcasts. And then another one for the, the podcast, the main podcast, Dr. Sam Productive Creativity and the YouTube channel. This is where you actually watch in this video. So this is uh, something that can help you uh, basically put everything in one spot. So you can, whatever you learn, you just drop it in here and so on. Uh, I have something for free for you. You can actually go to downloads and just uh, look at what I have for you to download. There's some nice things to have. And uh, this is why I'm actually showing you this. We're going to go over the from pre-marketing to marketing the seven phases of self-publishing mindsets this is the reason of this uh, the present video i want to just go read quick about uh, over these things to give you a small idea about what you're expecting from uh, starting something about podcasting or self-publishing uh, mainly this is today for self-publishing so we're gonna roll directly to uh, as if you had to open it. So if you go to blogs, go to tools, instead of if you don't want to download it, you just go and read it here. So we're going to go through this together real quick. I divided this in seven phases and uh, let me tell you a little bit about me so you can have an idea this is dr sam bulky i'm a, a professional work with uh, many organizations and i uh, i'm a published author and i am a doctor in information insurance and cybersecurity. so uh, and i love doing science fiction so this is where i am i write science fiction but uh, from time to time from what i learn about the the craft of uh, self-publishing I, I like to save it for my own use so i can uh, know exactly what i am so i write stuff i write stuff down i organize stuff i create spreadsheets so i know exactly where i am with the process and all that and uh, w when i did that i showed this to some of my friends and they said why don't you share it with more than just us your friends and I said, okay, not a problem. Maybe I will just have to spend some time creating a video and, and uh, organizing it. And so I did have my website, not for me, not for anything about the business or anything like that. It's just for me so I can have some place where I can put stuff in. Because my little one just destroyed my last computer. He just dropped it right from the table. From the, Because as everybody may know, a lot of us will write on the dinner table because of the COVID and we have to watch the kids and at the same time do whatever we need to do, either work or when we have time, we'll write in you know, our spare time or whatever. So now we're going to go through these together. I divided them, as I said, in uh, seven phases, pre-marketing, getting ready, what you need, the graphic designs, the book editing, book formatting and marketing. So if you see that is from pre-marketing all the way to marketing. It starts with the marketing and it ends with the marketing, which is something everybody who is trying to sell anything need to understand. Whatever product you're preparing, if it's not appealing to the, to the person you are preparing for, they are not going to care about either touching it, reading it, paying for it, and so on. Now, uh, we are not salespersons, but we want to prepare some... Uh, for me, for example, I want my books to be read by a lot of people, as many as I can get to. And uh, the only way to get them there is if I have something for them uh, good enough to read. And I will keep, we always learn, we always find ways to better our work and then uh, 
progress and create some uh, better appealing uh, product. So that's the the project. Okay, now pre-marketing. What am I talking about pre-marketing? So it's deciding on the author name because uh, deciding on the website name. Start social networking. Connect with like-minded people via either Facebook, podcasts, YouTube channels, SPF, Joanna Penn, David Gogren. Those three are my best and I love those guys. And decide if self-publishing is for you or uh, you want to go with the uh, traditional publishing, finding and a publisher and basically begging them to to accept your work and knowing that they have so many options to just say no and you're gonna hear a lot of no's I didn't even go that route because uh, I use my brain I guess so deciding an author name why would you need to decide very early on on the author name uh, it's not a good idea to choose an author name that is famous uh, many reasons that you're going to be sued, you're going to have legal liabilities and things like that. So you have to choose a, an author name that is uh, your name or closer to your name or something that you know is not going to cause any controversy in the future. The same will go with the website. You're going to hear it a lot if you do some research. Uh, people try to create websites based on their uh, uh products for example they put the website as the title of their first book well if you, if you get, become successful and you have 30 books that's going to be really hard for your readers to follow with you so what you want either your name or if you have different if you have different pen names for different genres for example as i do you you want to have a pen name specifically for the genre you have and you have a website with that pen name. The author name is always the best option to go because any books, any products that you create under that author name, even your podcast under that author name, will be under the same website, and that's the objective. You can always redirect websites to other websites. Let's say you start with one podcast, you, you're doing a podcast or a YouTube video under one pen name and you want to mention something that the other pen name have done you can always redirect in your website and say hey I do have a video about specifically this point if you want to manage your stress or whatever and you have that in your other podcast you can send them there now the uh, social networking no need to talk any further about that you all know uh, you basically only exist if you are known you exist so uh, simply connect with more people try to reach as many as you can friends family whoever but uh, the best option is to create your own organic audience meaning you want to create an audience that is uh, uh, interested in your product for example the latest pen name i have i do not have none of my friends in that pen name either in the instagram or in my very, very, very closest friends, maybe, but uh, none of my friends. Um, I opened it specifically to create a an organic audience, meaning I only want people who are interested in the product that I am offering to be there. Don't want uh, if if you are my friend or if you are my family, and you really don't like sci-fi, you're not interested in post-apocalyptic stuff you're not interested in uh, alternative realities deep science fiction which means that it's uh, called also hard science fiction it's uh, closer to science than science fiction those are the kind of stuff i write stuff that is about political and social uh, controversies these are things that i write about of course using things that ha happened in the past in the f in the far history of humanity and just uh, project it and then create some kind of alternative realities and then project it maybe 500 in years in the future and see exactly how it play out and create my own environments my own worlds and things like that so that is the purpose of uh, having uh, targeting or, uh, organic audiences and that's my best option of course it is extremely hard to reach a lot of people so uh, we just have to be patient create more digital content 
and then uh, basically give people so you can get back that's basically the the uh, rule of the game you have to give to get back that's one of the reasons why i'm doing this video anyway because uh, i am reaching out to people and trying to teach people some things that may be helpful to them and at the same time uh, why not uh, having them as my uh, audience now decide if the self-publishing is for you uh, as you may know the traditional publishing or trad pub is kind of sophisticated and at the same time too complicated for one person to just go through because you'll have to create like queries and you'll have to format your uh, manuscripts in a very specific format because they are so picky about the format and how you write proof and how do you proofread and things like that so in a way uh, you have a lot of freedom by going self-publishing and plus you make a lot more money once you are uh, widely known if you go traditional publishing not so much plus the freedoms in self-publishing is go they go not only about the product itself but uh, what do you do with the product because the product when you traditionally published the product is not yours you are paid for it if you are the if you're a self-publisher on the other hand the product is used you can if it's widely uh, published not exclusively published maybe we'll talk about that some other time but there is ways to either widely publish your product or exclusively exclusive like kindle for example kindle selects for example if you publish it there that means you're just with kindle you cannot publish the digital format anywhere else of course you can always publish the paper if you if it's not in kindle not in amazon you can publish the paper format or the audio format somewhere else as wide uh, like uh, draft to digital for example so story origin too they have options like that to publish wide but anyway those were uh, were places where you can publish wide and even you can if you publish wide you get the option to get to getting paid you can actually publish uh, wide and have the links to those in your website and you can even have them uh, buy the product directly from your website you don't even have to go to amazon like uh, via payhip for example those are services that you can get and you can uh, implement in your website those are not of other pluses of widely publishing for the moment if you're just starting out it's uh, it's okay to uh, publish exclusively uh, mainly because amazon has like 60 percent of the market anyway so uh, it's not questionable there only if you have enough uh, funds to actually uh, spend at the beginning so you can publish wide then you can do that now the getting ready is the part that is the the largest and uh, if you see how f how big it is when when it comes to the planning that i have here if you want to get to this of course just go to samborgi.com and go to the podcast and then tools and you can get to this page here now what do you see here the getting ready that's the part that i'm going to talk about and then uh, we'll create another video to talk about the other uh, five phases for the moment i just wanted to mention the pre-marketing part which means that you have to prepare for the name and all that and who you are and what do you want to uh, tell your audience and then the getting ready is the uh, the biggest problem that everybody has uh, they basically start with nothing and they just think it's gonna just line up no not really you'll have to think about all these things together and they need to be in your mind at all times and uh, that's what it is it's uh, being proactive productive and uh, you have to know and uh, control your time and your efforts so we'll start from the top the writing knowledge from reading from podcasts from youtube trade videos the skills of writing from education and experience so these are basically the craft can you write uh, i can tell you english you can probably say already is my third language uh, my first language is uh, north african language the second one is french and the third one is english and uh, i got some degrees in french some degrees in uh, north african language but 
in English is where I got all my other degrees, all the way to my doctorate. So uh, that actually helped me for so long. I did have I had a lot of issues writing. I uh, did have a lot of issues uh, saying the right things and then uh, staying on point. Of course, it involved a lot of reading. It involved a lot of people going through my work and then uh, helping me out. And thank God, thank you all to all my friends and to all my doctors and professionals who helped me going through the process and then uh, producing products that are uh, uh, good enough for publication. I do have also some academic works that are published, so and I teach at universities uh, all over. So now let's uh, look at this one. Uh, a lot of people will tell you, you can, if you cannot... Uh, Right, you can, you will never write. So my, my option is different. Uh, my take is different about this. If you can tell a story, and I mean tell a story, not read or write a story. If you can just tell a story to a friend, just words, just audio, you can write. That's as simple as that. If you can maintain a conversation with somebody, you can write. If you can maintain a discussion with somebody you can write dialogue that is as simple as that you're gonna tell me how you're gonna do that if you cannot remember and type words as you think about them cool those are speed factors that you need to learn how to to monitor and control the other way is simply to record yourself as I'm doing right now this video I'll probably come back later and drop the audio of this video directly in a software called dragon naturally speaking i will drop it of course dragon it had to learn my accent and all that to actually detect the exact words i'm saying but when i drop it in dragon it automatically transcribes the entire audio into text files i go back read it correct mistakes here and there and i can drop that as a transcription in my podcast of the entire video you can do that simply and uh, have manuscripts you can either save them save the audio on your phone which i do many times i go for walks every morning for four to five miles and during that time at least 30 minutes is a recording come back with that recording drop it in naturally speaking uh, dragon naturally speaking and i have a transcript of several thousand words of course i will have to edit and all that but uh, at least i have a, a primary product I can use and work with this is not something that I came up with this is stuff that I learned by listening and watching and reading so many uh, professionals who are extremely versed in self-publishing and in the writing realm so uh, sharing this with you because if you think you can't do it think again because you definitely can do it now get your body ready the balance of the thirds this is something that I learned from some uh, 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 spiritual stuff so let's just say that uh, the intake it has to be the third of your food the third water and the third is air meaning you, you have to uh, breathe and then go out and breathe some air the third of your day maybe it sounds too much but just think about uh, that you can maybe just go to your balcony spend some time there maybe go for a walk that will get you the third of your air water definitely you know the amount of water you can you need to drink and uh, medically you can do your research and find out based on your weight and based on your age and based on your height you can definitely find out exactly how much water you need to drink to stay hydrated every day of course you also have to calculate how much weight you need this is i'm talking about like a scientist here but uh, you definitely you can do enough research to figure out exactly how much intake you need your food that is the worst uh, problem we have in the united states including me i had to deal with that i went to all the all i'm six two and i went all the way to 270 and uh, went back to 230 so I lost a lot by following this very specific advice as I'm giving you here. Eat right. Think about what you're eating. 
I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to bore you with those details because it's, uh, uh, it's I know it's challenging, but uh, you'll have to take it very seriously. Uh, the mind and the body, they go together. You will not produce enough or better products if you are sluggish, if you just ate an entire cake. Uh, that much sugar will put your body into a crash mode maybe an hour or two hours later you will not be able to product to produce anything now when i say produce please uh, understand it means create creativity is the business we're in right now if you're listening to this video that means you are creative if you are creative you need to maintain your mental status in a certain level of alertness so you can create the best product to do that you need your body your eyes your stomach your heart everything needs to be aligned and then you're working perfectly in harmony if you don't you're going to see that your production and your creativity will suffer from it now a lot of people won't even think twice about what they take what they eat in breakfast but it is extremely important to really think about what you what's your intake so you can get your body where it needs to be now rest right as i said here uh, eat right move right and rest right resting that means don't compromise in your sleep uh, writing tired produces rework and frustration write only where you're completely rested why i say that for example me uh, you may think maybe i can write anytime i want no not really I can only write in the morning. So for me to write more in the morning, I have to wake up early in the morning. So uh, instead of me staying all the way to 1 or 2 a.m., it's better for me to sleep at 9 as soon as I take the kids, me and my wife, to bed. Then I go I go to sleep. My me too. I go to sleep and I wake up at 3.30 or 4 o'clock. Then I will be doing from 4.30 or so after shower and all around from 4 30 all the way to 7 or to 8 that is a lot of hours okay that's enough hours for me to write a couple thousand words if i do that every day in a week i'll have ten thousand in four or five weeks i have fifty thousand words so fifty thousand is a novel that's four or five weeks then you'll just need probably two or three weeks of editing and then by that time as a spare time you're working on your book cover I'm talking about you doing the entire thing, okay? You'll probably have a book within two, three months. Every two, three months you'll have one. And I do. I'm not saying this because I'm I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm, I do have that, but uh, sometimes the book is not ready for publication. You think maybe this, it's missing something, whatever, but you'll have a product. So far, I have three so far out, which is uh, not bad because uh, I was doing a lot more than just a, taking care of business with the family, you know, work, and also uh, I work for the government and many other things. So uh, time is always a, a challenge. Now, if you eat right, move right, and rest right, the next thing is the environment that you need to take care of, or take care of, which is your work, your family, and the time in between. And uh, you see here that I talked about the time in between as the most crucial one. Work, we already know work. If you have a day job, maintain that. Uh, family do not uh, take their time away from them uh, because uh, sooner or later they're going to suffer from it and you do not want that because you will pay the price regardless so the time in between those is what you need to focus on so the more calculating you are the better you will be the tools make sure you have the right tools to organize your time either plan it right or use uh, peers do uh, sprint writing there is many many groups they do that you can find them you can go through meetup there is a lot of writing uh, groups in meetup and you can find them in your area and connect with them and do sprint writings uh, the way i do it build the right habits and skills that's basically it the way i see it is my body is like a machine we know it can go down and go up you can produce create a lot sometimes and it may lose its creativity some other times so i treat it as such uh, i just plan and create the right habits for 
my body and for my environment to adapt to my needs and my wants. So I do micro writing sets, even in, on my own cell phone. Either I either uh, record audios or sometimes I have a small keyboard that's a Bluetooth keyboard that I can just sit and can open it and uh, put the, con the phone and then type up and go f from there. You can type up two, three thousand words uh, if you have enough time a day. If you steal 30 minutes here, five minutes here, a break here, whatever, and you can get it done. And then recordings that I mentioned. And of course, the key here for mastering your environment is time management. Now, the next phase will be uh, get your mental ability ready. I'm going to stop right here because this is the part where I need to, because I have some knowledge, specific knowledge about this, because there's a lot of stuff I do in my uh, uh, civilian job, which means that uh, this will take uh, an hour of, it, of, its, of its own when it comes to mental ability and be ready. Now, I appreciate you spending some time, and then uh, please come back for the rest. So let's just recap real quick. We have now the five fa seven phases of self-publishing mindsets. We talked about pre-marketing, about getting ready, and getting ready, we're halfway through it. We're going to come back next time, and we're going to talk about the mental ability, uh, your mental abilities to be ready, and how to get your mental abilities ready. Now, you can read this, and you can probably do some research and go on. If you're not interested in read, listening to me on the next one. But uh, the difference between you reading this and me talking, I'm giving you practical solutions what i personally do and how i and why i put these options here and uh, where did i learn it what it did for me and how it helped me those are things i want to share with you and uh, we want to create this relationship so you can actually come for more and if you see something that uh, you feel like it needs to be more developed uh, please drop me a line and then uh, subscribe, uh, hit the bell when I when I put the next video in so you can listen to it. Now, thank you so much. This is Dr. Samuel. Have a great day, guys. Mm -hmm.